Now we'll look at two examples of adding and subtracting rational expressions with like denominators. We'll also review how to state the domain. In the first example, we have 12x squared divided by the quantity x plus 3 plus 36x divided by the quantity x plus 3. We know in order to add or subtract fractions, we must have a common denominator. And notice here, we already have a common denominator of x plus 3, and therefore we can add these rational expressions in this form. The denominator will remain x plus 3, and now we add the numerators. And therefore the numerator is going to be 12x squared plus 36x. Now we need to check to see if this will simplify. To do this, we factor the numerator and factor the denominator and look for any common factors. Well, the denominator of x plus 3 does not factor. Now looking at the numerator, the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between 12x squared and 36x is 12x. So we'll factor 12x from both terms. If we factor 12x from 12x squared, we're left with x, so we have x plus. If we factor out 12x from 36x, we're left with 3, and therefore the factored form is 12x times the quantity x plus 3. Now looking at the numerator denominator, notice how we do have a common factor of x plus 3. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is equal to 1. So these two factors simplify to 1, and therefore the rational expression simplifies to 12x over 1, or just 12x. But we still need to state the domain. To determine the domain of a rational expression, we begin with all real numbers, and then exclude the values that make the denominator equal to 0. And we do this because division by 0 is undefined. It's important that we use the rational expression before we simplify to determine the domain, which means we'll use this form of the rational expression to determine the domain. Looking at just the denominator, we need to determine what value of x will make x plus 3 equal to 0. Well, x plus 3 is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 3, which means the domain is all real numbers except negative 3. A lot of times, we'll state the domain using a shortcut and just say x can't equal negative 3. So here we have the simplified expression and the domain where x cannot equal negative 3. Let's look at a second example. Here we have the quantity 7x plus 3 divided by the quantity x minus 2 minus the quantity 4x plus 5 divided by the quantity x minus 2. Again, the first thing to recognize here is that we do have a common denominator and therefore we can subtract these rational expressions in this form. The denominator remains the quantity x minus 2 and now we subtract the numerators. We need to be careful when subtracting though to make sure we subtract the entire numerator of 4x plus 5. We'll write this as the quantity 7x plus 3 minus the quantity 4x plus 5. Again, we need the parentheses so that we subtract the entire numerator of the second fraction. Now we'll simplify the numerator by first clearing the parentheses and then combining like terms. So if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here, and because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one here to clear the parentheses. Distributing a positive one will not change any signs, so we have the quantity 7x plus 3, and now distributing negative one will have minus 4x minus 5. And now we combine like terms in the numerator, we have two x terms and two constants. 7x minus 4x is 3x, and 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 2, so we have minus 2. In this form, the numerator and denominator do not factor, and therefore this is a simplified form of the rational expression. And now let's state the domain. We begin with all real numbers, and exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero. So x minus two is equal to zero when x equals positive two, which means the domain is all real numbers except two.
we're using the shortcut, we can just say x cannot equal 2. I hope you found this helpful.